A dozen Americans were wounded yesterday, and Vladimir Dutier has learned more about them. Late this afternoon, Sheila Schultz of Odessa, Florida, was still awaiting news of the fate of her son and daughter-in-law. I've been hoping that my phone would ring and Justin or Stephanie would be on the other end, tell me they were okay, and for me not to worry, you know, they were fine, but that call didn't come. Justin and Stephanie Schultz have been missing ever since the bombs went off at the Brussels airport. The wait also continues for the family of siblings Sasha and Alex Pinzowski, both from New York City, who remain missing. They were reportedly on the phone with family when the bombs hit. More is known tonight about the three Mormon missionaries who were seriously injured in the blast. The son of 66-year-old Richard Nordby told CBS News that he is now in a medically induced coma after surgery on his head and leg. 19-year-old Mason Wells from Sandy, Utah, had surgery on his foot and has been moved to a burn unit. Parents Chad and Kimberly Wells. It's a nightmare phone call you never want to get um, that your son's been involved in a, in a terrible accident. So you just try to go through a checklist mentally and, okay, first of all, condition, health. Second of all, location. Third, how are we going to help him? According to European press reports, American Karen Northshield, who is now a personal trainer in Brussels, is in intensive care but expected to live. I saw a lady come with a, a cut on her eye and she was bleeding all down her face. 55-year-old American missionary Jeff Slaughter was on his way home to Shreveport when the bombs went off. He ran out of the building and straight to safety. Your, your brain just cannot process everything at once. It's too much, too much information. The Americans are among 150 victims still in hospitals around Brussels tonight. 61 of those are in intensive care. Scott, a doctor at the hospital behind me, said the injuries reminded him of those you'd see in a war zone. And Vladimir will have continuing coverage from Brussels tonight on our digital news service, CBSN. Vlad, thanks very much.